It's the beginning of the noontime prayer. The prayer at noontime. Morning prayer, 9 o'clock prayer, 12 o'clock prayer, 3 o'clock prayer. These are the prayers in the temple. We do these things. And we start with song and singing in the spirit. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you know. Bring us shine on me shine on me shine jesus shine fill this land with the father's glory blaze spirit blaze set our hearts on fire flow river flow flood the nations with grace and mercy send forth your word Lord, and let there be light. These prayers have been kept up and were kept up. Noonday were kept up responsibly by those who were in the ministry of the widows and virgins, the single people and the ones that have been broken out of marriage by death, and this, these are the prayers of the temple for the whole world. These are the prayers that were in the Orthodox Church of the Syrian region that even Mohammed came out of and was trained by. These are the reasons why you've got five prayers a day, including midnight prayer, in those who are faithful in Islam. It started out with the temple, Yahweh, Yeshua. And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. This speaks of the time of crucifixion. At noon, it became dark. It was dark for three hours. Everybody was freaked out. Something was happening. There was an earthquake. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, our supernatural food to get through every single situation. And forgive us for the things that we owe you, for our debts. And we're forgiving everybody for the honor, love, care, responsibilities that they owe us. Forgive us for our debts because we are forgiving the others. That is your expectation of us. And do not, when the final test comes, do not allow us to go down but draw us up out of the grip of the evil one. There is an evil one. There is spirit darkness around us. We declare that you, one God, you, the sender of Yeshua, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, the spirit of heaven itself, you have the highest spirit, sphere of influence, the kingdom. We declare that you have showed, shown to have the, the greater power, the power of loving kindness that comes through the words and even the peoples filled with your spirit and Yeshua. You have shown power to drive out spirits, to heal, to know your way truly, and even to have the, the, the sweet surprise language, friendship language. You have a special glory over you, and that's why we acknowledge you. you we want to be in that glory and in it forever and ever, and sending it back to you. You send us tons and buckets, and we send you back a little drop, because we love you. Amen. May it be so. May we dwell in your glory, and sending you your glory forever and ever, and for ages beyond our understanding. Blessed Yeshua, who in this hour stretched forth your loving arms upon the cross, grant that all may mankind may look to you and be rescued through your mercies and through your merits. Help us and save us who are crying out to you, glory and honor to you, glory and honor to you, glory to you, you are the sweet master. Amen. Here personal petitions may be made. Yahweh, in the name of Yeshua, in this transitional season, as I give and offer these gifts to you out loud while I am still alive, on my knees, in the room where my father, 
Yatav, you know, went to sleep in the sleep of death. Now, at noontime, I call out to you and say, give me the strength of your Holy Spirit to be a refresher of people, a refresher of relationships, a refresher of families. Give me the ability to share and utilize the music that you give me straight from spirit, straight from heaven, straight from your place of peace. I, I request to you, give me the ability to be a maintainer of Honesty Meal Group. Because regardless of worship and learning and whatever we else do with you, it is only in honesty that we become family. Facades build strangers and honesty builds family. Honesty forms the truest family. Help me be a maintainer of honesty meal group. And most of all, and also, I am deeply concerned about the ease with which we develop emotional and affectionate bonds and ties through the web, able to aband abandon our primary family and go and receive kindness from others when we need to repair what needs to be repaired. Help me be an avenue of understanding honesty and refreshing in that environment. And grant to whoever watches here whatever their groaning and requests are as well. We are nothing. We are ruined. We are dust. Without your assistance, come Holy Spirit and allow these things to come to pass. Praise the Lord, O oh you who are serving Yahweh. Praise the name of Yahweh. You are the King of glory, Mashiach Jesus. You are the everlasting Son of the Father. When you took it upon yourself to deliver mankind from these troubles, you did not push away woman, but rather you chose a woman to fill her womb, a virgin womb, heaven and a woman with no man involved. That's cool. We love you for that. When you overcame death itself and broke death off of yourself, you opened the kingdom of eternal wholeness to all who would connect with you, fully connect with you. The avenue of wholeness, wholeness is full connection with you and your spirit. And you opened that way when you resurrected from the dead. You are at the right hand of the highest and most flaming sweet God in the glory of that divine parent who is also El Shaddai, overflowing, lactating, breasted one. You are there in the presence of the highest one. You are sending your spirit on us. We believe that you will come again to be our judge. And in fact, you are not a destroyer. You are a rescuer. Your words that have been left behind will be the evaluation and the judgment of our lives and will condemn us if we do not meld and connect and follow them with your Holy Spirit. We therefore pray to you, help these your servants who you have rescued with your precious and mystical blood sacrifice, above all sacrifices, above all gifts, your death and blood we receive. Allow us to be numbered with the ones that have gone before us that are connected with you in your amazing glories and who can see all in paradise waiting for the very opening of heaven itself. Amen. May it be so. And then the thief, said to Yeshua, Jesus, the thief at his side, crucified at his side, there's one at his side, and this thief dying says to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Remember me. And Jesus said to him, truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Today you will be with me in paradise. May it be so for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah. We praise you, Yah. We give thanksgiving to you, Yah. Thank you, thank you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. That is the sign of the Tau, the cross, Ezekiel chapter 9. The ones that are grieving inside because of the wrong stuff that's going on. We sing glory to you, Father and Yeshua, in the Holy Spirit, in the sweetness of the Holy Spirit, who is the veil and the womb around this this amazing, strange gathering, and this is a strange gathering right here. 
And may that sweet veil and power be over us now and forever and unto, and unto ages beyond our understanding. May it be so. And in the peace of Christ, let us keep watch, because the sneaky one is sneaky. Yay! Noon prayer!